What's going on YouTube? So today I just wanted to give you guys an overall update of the tank. Uh, just share a few changes that I've made with you guys, a few new corals that I was able to pick up. Also show you guys a few things that aren't going so well in the tank. Um, and then also towards the end, I was able to take my par reading. So I just wanted to document that and share that with you guys. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Um, and let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So here's a look at my red money cap that I just finished fragging back. Um, it was taking a lot of space, shading a lot of coral. It was starting to shade one of my green uh, money caps on the bottom and that was starting to lose color. So I had to frag it back um, and luckily I'm able to take all my frags into my LFS and get credit for them, get credit towards something else. So, um, you know, this is definitely a fast grower for me and that's one of the trade-offs, I guess, when you're, you know, successfully keeping corals. Uh, that you have to monitor them you have to continue to frag them back and keep them at bay but uh, this is definitely one of my favorite corals i love the different uh, look that it brings you know with all the sticks around it the plating just at, you know it just complements everything else so i keep it in there just for that reason um, i don't think i'll ever have a tank without the red money cap just because i you know i just love the coloration and love the way it looks so for now i'll continue to enjoy it and hopefully when i get my larger system i'll be able to give it enough room that you know, it can grow out and become a nice showpiece colony. So here's one of the acros that wasn't doing so well during my out swing video. You can see the tips are burnt. Um, it had a little bit of coloration, but it definitely looked stressed. It wasn't growing at all. It was kind of just there, it was alive, but it wasn't really thriving. Uh, you can see now it's completely changed around. The polyps are out um, and it's definitely growing well. It's one of those no name corals that I picked up at my LFS. So if anybody recognizes its shape or its growth pattern, um, please drop it in the comments below and let me know what you guys think this could be. Here's the other acro that wasn't doing so well during my aux swing. Uh, you can see around the base, it has uh, the tissue necrosis. Um, I had said in the video that I wasn't going to cut it. I was going to let it just be and see what happens, but the tissue did continue to rise. So I ended up just cutting it in half, of course, above the necrosis portion of it. And then I gave a piece to a friend and then I kept a piece for myself. Uh, and so far it's been doing well. It's gotten great coloration now and it's starting to grow and branch out even more. So I'm happy that these coils were able to turn around. Um, you know, I solved the issue with the alkalinity swing and started using the SV Bionic. And since then my parameters, you know, have been stable. So now on to what's not going so well. So you can clearly see I'm suffering from red slime, uh, cyanobacteria. Um, I know exactly what caused it. I introduced the new fish to the tank. It was a yellowtail tamarind wrasse. And usually when I add a fish to the tank, I start to feed the tank a whole lot more um, just because I'm trying to make sure I keep the aggression down, keep everyone well fed while the new fish, you know, settles in and acclimates himself. Um, and usually when I do that, I increase the photo period on my refugium just to compensate for the nutrients and, you know, the increase in bio load. And I forgot to do that this time. You know, I left my schedule the way it was. I normally run a 10 to 12 hour schedule. I think at this time I had it on like a 12 hour schedule and it was running on a reverse photo period. And I just started feeding the fish and 
you know, hear the consequences. I'm even seeing some green hair algae growing on the overflow and I don't have any snails or anything. So I'm definitely gonna have to go and get some of those. You can see one of my acros isn't doing so well. It's also showing signs of tissue necrosis. Um, and I know it's a direct result of the nutrient spike. My alkalinity has been stable, my calcium, my magnesium, everything has been good. But I do know that my nutrients are a lot higher than I normally maintain them at. Um, and that's without me testing and just looking at the tank and seeing how much algae is growing and how fast, you know, the algae grows on the glass lets me know that, you know, things are out of whack. So I'm not going to treat it. I'm not going to do anything other than, you know, increase my photo period on my refugium, uh, continue with my water changes and reduce my feeding habits for a little bit and allow the nutrients to just fall back down on their own. Um, I don't typically treat with Kimmy clean or anything like that. Um, if it starts to take over and it gets too bad and I, and you know, I need to intervene, I will. I've never had to do it before, typically with the water changes and the other adjustments that I'm going to make. Um, in my experience, it usually levels itself out. So here's a full shot of the tank. I wanted to show you guys a few changes that I made to the rockscape. Uh, on the right side, I was running out of room for acros in the tank up on the top. And uh, I went in and just replaced a few rocks, put in some new rocks and was able to make a little bit more space, a little bit more room that I can plant a few more acros. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I did some updates on Instagram, just showing you guys, you know, the breakdown and, you know, what I did to put it back together. But for the most part, everything came out nicely. It looks pretty good. And I was actually able to get all of the frags that I had lying around on the sand bed um, mounted up on the rock. So I bought myself a little bit more time to allow these colonies to fill in until we move into the next system. So here's a look at one of the new corals that I picked up. It's the Cali tort or the organ tort. I'm not really sure which one it is, um, but man, this is one of my favorite corals. I love the blue coloration. I love the way it looks, especially under all whites, uh, which is one of the reasons why I started the video out the way I'm shooting it without, you know, all of the blue light is because I really wanted to show the coloration on this coral. Uh, but so far it's been doing good. I mounted here right in the center. Hopefully it'll grow up and um, spread out right there in the middle and become a nice showpiece. The other coral that I picked up is uh, this nice, I think it's a millipore, but I'm not really sure if anybody knows, they can drop me, drop it in the comments below. Uh, but you can see the polyp extension on this is amazing and the coloration is beautiful. It has this nice greenish yellowish uh, body skin uh, with blue tips and really, really enjoy this coral, really like it. Um, I haven't mounted it on the rocks yet just because it's doing so well, I don't really want to move it. So I'm going to have to figure something out, going to have to find a spot for it. But you know, for now, it'll, it'll be the star of the frag rack. First of all, I want to say shouts out to Murphy's Aquatics uh, for lending me this PAR meter. Um, it definitely came in handy. He saw my video with me doing my lighting schedule and, you know, offered to loan it to me so that I can check the PAR. So thanks, Murphy. If you guys aren't subscribed to his channel, please subscribe to his channel. Follow him on Instagram. He just completed a new build that has a whole bunch of DIY projects that you can try out. And he's got a nice selection of high-end corals to look at. So as for the par readings in my tank, um, my goal here was really just to see where my levels were. I didn't really want to change my lighting schedule or I wasn't looking to increase or decrease anything just because the corals are looking good and everything's happy and healthy. Um, but I was curious. I definitely wanted to use it and see where my levels were. So I'm happy to say that, you know, I'm in that range of 150 to 350 par. Um, you know, more on the lower end side with some of the higher ends being around the 290s to 300s. Um, and I'm happy with that. You know, like I said, the corals are doing fine. The corals are growing. Um, you know, the one thing that I did do because I noticed that my par levels were so low, I went ahead and increased the peak period of my blues and my UVs um, just for two more hours throughout the day. So now instead of running them, I think at two hours, I'm running them for a total of four hours. So I haven't seen any negative changes. If anything, I've seen positive, um, definitely seen a little bit more coloration in my PC rainbow. So I'll let it run for a couple months and, you know, see what happens.
so that's my update guys that's the current state of my reef i definitely wanted to share this with you guys share the bad and the good and i'll keep you guys updated on how things progress at the end here i wanted to show you guys a clip of a fellow reefers tank from my aquarium club we went over to his house and he shared his tank with us walked us through a few of his best practices and you know also gave us a feeding show i wanted to share this with you guys because i thought it was his system was amazing and hopefully i'll be able to go over and you know document his system for you guys and just you know share it with you so thanks for watching this video uh, stay tuned and i hope everyone's enjoying their reefs Besides the automatic feeders coming on, I feed them once a day with flakes when I get home. Plus, I feed frozen three times a day for them. That's a feeder coming on, but it's probably empty. I need to fit. I need to fill it. Box, huh? uh, yeah, because then it's saturated when it goes into the water. Okay. And it doesn't float. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I thought I overfed. <laughs> My nitrates went up just watching. <laughs>